everybody! Welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am Kimmy, and welcome to another minivan moment. And if you're new to the channel, click that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of the crazy fun. And today's going to be fun because I'm collaborating with the wonderful Samantha from Happily a Housewife. She is so stinking cute and she has so many great ideas and tips. She's so organized and she's an amazing planner and like seriously, if you haven't seen her, go check her out. You'll love her. I promise. Okay, today we are going to talk about how you can be productive in carpool because for some of us, we live in our cars, right? I live in my car, so I'm going to give you, and Samantha is also sharing five tips to be productive in carpool, but I have a bonus five more for you, because I couldn't decide. I have so many that I'm giving you a bonus of five more. Number one is you can catch up on letters or write thank you notes. Haha, -ha, I do this a lot in my car. Uh, I try to write back to you guys. I'll try to write letters to you, thank you notes to you. You, you remember letters, right? The pen, paper, stamp. <laughs> yeah, but it's a great way to catch up on them in carpool. Tip number two, which I do all the time, is I menu plan, meal plan. I check the grocery ads. I'll go through my coupons. Um, I used to be a big couponer, if you remember back years ago. I'll bring my coupons in. I will price match. I will do everything I possibly can with the store ads, with my apps on my phone, everything that I could do to meal plan and get one step ahead for the next week. So definitely a great time to think about meals. Tip number three that I do all the time as well is I check my planner. This is my Mothers Who Know planner. Um, it's by the leafytreetops.com. I'll leave a link below. I'm in love with this planner. I have a review on it if you'd like to see it. Link is below. But what I do is um, I will check my planner and I will go through the monthly spread and then I will go through my weekly spread. I have stickers. Sometimes I bring my stickers in the car with me if I haven't planned out for the week. Um, but I always check my schedule to see when I'm missing, when I'm not missing it. Oh, look today. Ah, I need to reschedule Jonah's ortho appointment. So I'll go over my planner. Anything that I need to um, sketch in here, I will do. So it's a good time to plan for the week in carpool. I like to keep a pen and paper in my car um, along with using my planner. And this is a good time to plan up any upcoming events that you have going on. Any functions, any birthday parties, weddings, um, anniversaries, anything that you've got coming up to plan, this is a great time. You have, you know, anywhere between what, 15 to 30 minutes in carpool that you could be utilizing. So, um, like for me, um, Boston's birthday is coming up the 18th, so I could start planning for his birthday. Um, so he's going to be nine years old. So, number one, cry over the fact that your youngest boy is growing up. <laughs> cake, ice cream, a picture of his mom to put up in his room so he'll never forget me. Things like that, okay? So plan your upcoming events in carpool. There's so much time that you have right there at your fingertips. Tip number five, clean out your purse. You know what I'm saying? I try to do this on Fridays. It's like my clean out day. Do you know what you got going on in this thing? It's scary. It's really scary what's going on in here. There's receipts and candy wrappers and who knows what. And, oh, look, my house key. <laughs> I was looking for that. Maybe keep a Walmart bag or a, a grocery store bag in your car. Clean out your purse. You never know what you might find in your purse. Let's see. Ooh, I got two dollars. I got two dollars. <laughs> I love finding cash. I never really have cash all that much on me, so <laughs> this is exciting. With your two dollars, why don't you run and get yourself a little treat, like something dirty? There's no alcohol on this, I promise. There's just coconut and lime in this soda. <laughs> but go get yourself a treat. <sighs> also, with that lovely trash bag, you could clean out your car. If you have children, you know this is a big one. So may I give a tip? Here is a cereal container. You've seen these before? 
what you could do is stick a grocery sack inside the container and it could hold your garbage. Ah, but won't it fall out? It will, and it has on me. So what you could do is put the top on, voila, just like so. And all the kids have to do, or you, open it up, shove your trash down in there, and voila, it's contained. So. And this is awesome for road trips. You could put one in the back of your car, the one in the front of your car. And as part of cleaning your car, you could dust. I keep a dust mitt, a Norwex dust mitt, links below, um, in my car. That way I could just dust up my dashboard, get all the dust off. Yeah. And I keep a water bottle in my car. I'll get out my Enviro cloth and start wiping down my steering wheel. That way it's pulling all the gunk off my steering wheel and anti-backing. So a good time too. I keep these in the front of my car. I've got a little space down here and I'll just start dusting. Oh, you're a little dusty. Okay, another thing to be productive in carpool is you could keep up on your emails, um, your texts. Um, if you vlog, record something in your car. Uh, if you're a blogger, work on your next blog post. But there's so much time in carpool. Like I said, I'm in my carpool line anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. So write down your ideas, things you want to do for work, maybe make some phone calls and get that time in for you. A big thing is if you are a crafter and you work on projects a lot, bring it in the car with you. Utilize that time. One thing that will help you is grab a bin. This one I got from Walmart. Ta-da! But grab a bin or um, anything to keep in your car to put the stuff in so that it's just not streamed in your front seat. So anything you can contain your stuff in will be good. So um, definitely get a container of some sort. And that way when you're done, all you have to do is take it into the house or leave it in the back of your car for next time. Okay, a huge thing that you could do in carpool is just renew your spirit, renew yourself relax. We are so busy. Run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Take the time to just chill and relax with something dirty or just turn off the radio and just relax and get all those worldly things out. I like to read my scriptures on my phone. I'm recording this on my phone so I can't show you, but there's an app and I get on and I can either read or I can listen to my scriptures and have them played to me on my phone and then I could just lay back and just concentrate and just gather my thoughts and get ready for the circus that's about to happen in the back right right oh my gosh it's a circus this is a big one you can read a book for some of us like this is huge for me it's huge a lot of the time I will listen to books and um, especially books on tape in the car but catch up on your book like seriously Ah, oh, reading. I love reading. And it is hard for me to do and find time for. But if you could muster up reading, read your book. Catch up on your reading in carpool. Oh. And I'm going to give you one extra tip. <laughs> do your makeup if you haven't done it already. There are so many times where I've gotten my makeup on in the car. Oodles oodles and doodles of time I've gotten ready in the car yeah you just sometimes you just can't make it at home and utilize it in the car but don't do it while driving you know <laughs> I know some of you are amazing at putting mascara lip gloss or something on in the car but you wait till those wheels stop moving and then you just put on your makeup you don't have to go all big just a little something something you know we we have this time in the car like I said anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes let's utilize it we could get so much done and then that way when you get home a little bit of your day has been chipped away in the car so I hope this helps I'm so glad you joined me hey go check out Samantha I am sure she's got some amazing practical awesome productive things that you could do in the carpool and uh, give her a thumbs up and subscribe to her she's awesome and if you're new from Samantha's channel, hi! I hope to see you more around here. And let me know if you are, and I'll give you a hello. So thanks, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this mini van moment, and you guys have an awesome day. Yeah. I have just a few more minutes, and I'm going to drink this up. I think I'm a little jittery from it. And uh, read my book. <laughs> Did you check out what I'm reading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outlander? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a book. I'm gonna read a book. It's a huge step for me. Any of my friends that are watching, yeah, you know. Seriously. 
seriously. So I'm gonna read this, sip my soda, and just chill until the circus comes jumping in the back. Thanks for joining me, we'll see ya, bye. You know, there, if, if you want to start dinner in the car, I mean, you could bring your potatoes and start peeling if you want. I mean, whatever you could do to get ahead, right?